Hi everyone, and welcome to another Stackland Studio experience. This is kind of like the state of the nation right now, uh, state of my little network that I have going on. So, how is it going? Uh, are you doing good? I'm doing great. Um, let's talk about the state of the network. So, first of all, we have the Transcend Network that no one has applied for. I'm going to be straight with you. No one has applied for it. Um, but, in, in light of that we are actually going forward with something bigger. So, if creators want one-on-one -on -one attention, we are now going to be offering a private lesson slash uh, private tutoring session for $5. And that's going to be purchasable through the Ohio Eye Project store. I'm still working on the page for it, um, but after we get it all together, it should be fine. Uh, a lot of people should be able to access that perfectly fine. Um, if you were a priv if you were a prior member to the Transcend Network, you do not have to pay for the new one. So that means that if you were a creator that sign up before the payment gate uh, opened, you do not have to pay for this. This is completely new for new users and new users alone. If you are a new user who have been interested and have wanted to apply, you will still have to apply through the Ohio Eye Project store and you will have to pay the five dollars. I'm sorry it just at this point, it's just too much work to put in and call every creator and every single person who wants to be interested and call and then waste my time when they don't get back to me. Um, we've been clearing out some of our uh, caches and the website will officially go down and just redirect to the Ohio Eye Project page. Um, the forums will still be open for users who are still members of the forum and you can still create a forum account. But yeah, that's about it for that. Uh, there will also be in addition to the new payment gate, uh, if you still want free support from Transcend, you will be able to attend a live stream where I and hopefully other creators will go through and look at your channel, look at what you have, and then advise you as to what you should do next. So that's going to be a little bit of a future down the line thing, um, but we do plan to do that every week. Um, sorry, every weekend, maybe a Saturday or a Sunday, where I can do that just sitting down, having just a conversation with you guys. I'll probably have it on Beam. Uh, that way I can record and then upload to YouTube so that YouTube users can see that. And then, if you want to watch on Beam, it has a lower latency than on uh, YouTube. So, but I'm not sure. So, we'll have to look into it. Uh, because if I go with Beam, I have to follow their policies and their rules and stuff. And I don't really want to do that. Because Beam's policies are that you can't make money off of ads until a certain point so I really don't want to do that right now so as far as Ohio Eye Project is going the new website has been greatly improved uh, back end has been updated and the front end has a new look 
Uh, if you guys have not seen that, be sure to head over to ohioiproject.co.uk. And it looks absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to announce that the look is here to stay. Um, on top of that, there is a lot of things that are going on with Ohio Eye Project and partners that are working with us directly. We plan to uh, announce several partnership programs through our own YouTube page, but <laughs> it's very hard for me to manage the YouTube page alone. So we are looking for creators who can help us manage that YouTube page. On top of that, uh, we will be doing a how-to YouTube series. Um, we started this with my series on how to start a YouTube channel in 2017, which has seen mixed reviews since people say, oh, well, it's not 2017 yet. No, I'm predicting the future. I am saying that YouTube is going to fail within three years. So I am preparing people for that failure in three years and telling people that they need to look elsewhere and branch out their little tendrils elsewhere to make money if that is their main goal on YouTube. How do we go about doing all of this stuff and still for a minuscule amount. Well, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make money with Bitcoin. Um, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. Seeing people like Chris Dunn, it's absolutely amazing to see what they've done with their money and how they've invested it towards Bitcoin. But there's some techniques that I feel that people nowadays could use. Um, that they just aren't using right now, and that's mostly because these are tips that people don't like talking about, because there is a lot of risk when doing this. So, uh, this vlog has to be kind of long. Again, back to the whole why YouTube sucks thing, because the longer the video is, the higher the ratings on YouTube would be. I don't understand it myself, but whatever. Life is as life does. So, what is going on with my channel? Why is Stackland Studio still Stackland Studio? Will the merch store finally have the new design? When will I change it to be called the Legacy Design rather than the Wolfboy Tech Design? Okay, first of all, to address the questions about Legacy and the modern designs. Legacy will, uh, I have to do a few things extra with the design of that, um, but they are ready to purchase. I just have to rename them and stuff like that. So Legacy is ready to be purchased on my store right now. Modern, I am still getting my artist to do the artwork for it. So I have to go through and get all of that done very quickly because if I keep holding off it's just going to turn into a nightmare and no one's going to be happy. I hope to have modern done by my birthday which is January 27th of 2016 or 2017. God, I'm flashing back to 2016. Oh, this is what 2016 has done to me. 2017 is going to be a big year for my channel, I feel. In the case that Trump doesn't ruin my channel, um, because I've spoken out against him, I've said some bad things, uh, but I've actually purchased a lavalier mic set so that I can be completely wireless, assuming that my camera works, because, yeah, I plugged in other microphones into it and it doesn't work. Big surprise. I don't know why. Um, really hoping I didn't damage the microphone jack, but whatever uh it's still under warranty obviously because i just bought it uh but yeah my canon uh it's the vixia hfr 700 gotta love this thing i'm really hoping that it doesn't do the same stuff that my uh my sony cam did uh and i really like it because 
I just turned it on. Um, I really like it. It works well, and whenever I have it plugged into to HDMI, it automatically will disable all of the video functions. Like, uh, if I have, say, for example, on my streams, I always had the OEV or OVS or whatever it was down in the corner with the Sony one, but this one now has nothing. It's just the video feed, which I love. Um, on top of that, uh, I got a new wireless charger for my phone so that it charges quicker. And we'll be doing a uh, chatter test, I guess. It's going to be in slow-mo. I just want to do it because um, cause I have the Samsung Galaxy S7, so I want to do more slow-mo, including my review of the uh, Pero Bebop 1 drone. Uh, which has seen a lot of hate because of certain purchases that people have to do. Um, but I'm going to work on that review hopefully soon. Uh, I really want to get my lavalier mic set so that I can maybe go outside and record with it. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. Um, but... I also have a review of the Moto 360 coming out. Uh, I think I have it so that it'll be out next month. Uh, same with my case review of the uh, Fantex SP400. I think that's what it's called. Um, I can't remember what the case is. Uh, but I had to send it back to Newegg. Because they sent me the wrong one, and it's now going to take several more days for them to even consider sending me a new one. And I have to review this for Fantex. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm really sick of not being in the loop, but, oh well. It's, it's whatever. Life sucks sometimes. Um, but at least there's banana bread. Um, also, uh, if you guys want me to, if you guys want to see me, uh, do something with Obama phones, I have two laying on my desk, and I really want to do the slow-mo for it. Like, I want to drop it, or something, or throw them, or whatever, uh, because we have modern phones now, and, uh, that's another thing that I'm going to talk about is, uh, thanks to Metro PCS. Uh, I have phones, and at a damn good price. So, I want to talk about Metro PCS in a separate video, but I don't know how long that one will take to record. Because I want to actually go in and record uh, this guy named Tony, who is my Metro PCS dealer. And I want him to talk to you guys about the benefits to purchasing Metro PCS over any other network. Um, because, honestly, if there's a Metro PCS near you, go with them. They are absolutely fabulous. You get a free phone, albeit kind of shitty phones, I'm just saying. Um, but you get a phone for free. A Samsung or an LG or uh, I think they have a Curios phone. Um, you get a phone for free. Again, they're not the best. If you get Samsung one, it's like Galaxy S5, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of storage, upgradable SD card storage up to 64 gigs, so on and so forth. Cameras kind of shit. Not the best, not the worst either. Um, it's actually funny because the $200 phone that I have, the, uh, Verney Apollo Lite actually has a shittier camera than this, so, I mean, it's okay! Um, but, of course, you can always port your own phone, but you do have some issues, like, with me, I can't make phone calls at my house, however, it does work at other places. I don't know, it's weird. And then, in, uh, in where I used to live, uh, in Shelby, it's a complete dead spot. Even though on their website it says that it's completely covered. 
I don't know what is going on there. Um, but yeah. Also, uh, bought some more games, so we're gonna be playing a lot of streams. I really want to keep streaming, but a lot of people want me to play Minecraft, but I'm just not interested in Minecraft right now. I'm sorry, guys. I just am not interested in Minecraft. I don't know why. Just, I, I've i hit a creative dead spot. I want to do my Hermitcraft series. I want to do my... Uh, my crack pack series. I want to do all this. I have really good ideas. But it's just like. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Like. Building things. Takes forever. And I just. It's annoying. Okay, to be honest, Minecraft is annoying. I don't like it. So on and so forth. I know, this has become a rant. I'm sorry. If you're still watching, thank you. I'll probably cut most of this out, but thank you. So I guess I will end the video on a happy note saying videos are still coming. I am stronger since the attacks on my channel. They are finally slowly dying out, and I'm quite happy with the results. I mean, I've made more money, I have gotten more subs, more likes, and it's just become a better community ever since I was attacked. So, it's funny, but in the end, the attackers actually did me more good than bad. So I guess that's just whatever. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that there had to be gameplay behind this. Probably going to be Black Ops 2 uh, campaign footage. Because uh, I'm playing the campaign right now. Absolutely love it. And yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Because I was playing through the first part really easy. And then all of a sudden I... I quit, came back to it. It was a pain in the ass. It's really hard now. I don't know why. Like, I was playing on Hardened, and I actually had to make sure that I was on Hardened because it was so easy. Because, like, I wasn't getting one hit like I normally was. But now I am. We'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, be sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Be sure to stay subscribed. I try and stream almost every day. Uh, to this channel and then I release the VODs for those streams on this channel. Uh, we're going to be streaming some Dishonored, uh, the classic game, and it's going to be modded because I want to play and get all of the achievements or at least as many as I can. So without further ado, I want to remind you, stay loyal, stay subscribed, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah. Bye -bye.